name is Angela. My name is Francis, and we are your IDF Walk for PI team. Thank you so much for joining our virtual question and answer. The question your peers will be answering today is, how do I get started with my fundraising? Joining us to answer these questions are two fundraising rock stars. Hi, my name is Laura Siebert, and I uh, am a parent of a young adult PI patient. I've been volunteering for the Immune Deficiency Foundation for 15 years in several different capacities. But today what I want to talk about is how to get started fundraising for the IDF walk. Um, for us, we start with friends and family and then rely heavily on social media to help spread the word. But I would say the most important advice I can give you is know your people. So for us, some of our most important contributors outside of friends and family are actually a local trail running community who run miles to earn money to donate towards IDF. Uh, in your case, it could be school friends, work friends, or possibly church. But my best advice is know your friends, know your people, and use those people to help you get the donations you want. Hi everyone, I'm Allison Lanier, and I've been advocating with the Immune Deficiency Foundation since June of 2021, when my son was diagnosed with XLA. So this is really important to me to help spread the word of how to fundraise. And so I'm here to talk to you about how do you get started, because a lot of times that's really the hardest part. So number one, figure out what your why is. And so for me, my why is Sebastian, and just making sure that I spread the word. Um, so maybe I can make an impact for you or anyone else that's experiencing something similar. Then I set a goal. So for me this year, it's $3,000, it's pretty lofty, but set something that's realistic, but it's also going to scare you a little and that will help you achieve it. Then create a plan. Figure out, are you going to post on social media? Are you going to call people? Um, are you gonna reach friends and family only? Are you gonna try to go wider than that? Um, I'm looking to create an event that is local so that way I can maybe get people to show up and um, kind of spend their time and treasure with us. Um, and then you could also look at maybe making something. Do you wanna do a bake sale? Anything like that. So just really think through um, what is that tangible thing that you wanna do and what is your plan? Then you have to commit and you have to commit confidently, right? So don't just set a plan, don't just set a goal just for it to set to the wayside. So make sure that you commit to it and make sure it's something that you just really put all of your effort and passion in. Um, and then just remember that there's really awesome people that are out there that are looking to help and they're don't feel bad about asking for something. Don't feel bad about reaching out. People want to help you. So just start asking, start having conversations, commit, set a plan, figure out what your goal is, and you're going to rock it. Thank you, Laura and Allison, for your insightful answers. Stay tuned for another Walk Q&A video. Happy fundraising. And remember, you can fundraise all the way through December 15th.